Hi everyone, in today's video I'm just going to be sitting down and doing my makeup, having a good time, having a little chat. I recently picked up the newest Morphe palette. This is the 35i Icy Fantasy. I, I don't know why I was so drawn to this palette, but when we put it out at Ulta, I just, I don't know. There was something about this palette that I was so into. I do definitely need to prime my eyes for this, but the primer that I'm going to use, I, I don't love it. And it makes my eyelids look so dry. So I'm just taking a little bit of my Glossier Bubble Wrap and I'm putting that on top of my eyelid just so my eyelids don't kill me. Hi, Bean! Hi, Bean! You guys probably have not seen Bean, but Bean is our family dog. Bean is the first dog that I ever fell in love with. Like, we've always had dogs growing up, but I never had, like, real bonds with the dogs that we had. But Bean was the first dog that we got as a puppy. All of our previous dogs were, like, adult rescues, basically. Or dogs that we just, like, found. You know how that works sometimes? By the way, I'm using the Anastasia primer, eye primer. I don't know. This stuff is weird to me. I don't understand why it is so bright like this, but I guess for something like this where you want the colors to like really freaking pop, it's good. But then again, I would have liked something a little bit more true to skin tone for me. I feel like they could have easily come out with this primer in like three different shades. Like this one, a like tan version and then a deep version i feel like they definitely could have done and also it's like so dry so i'm going to take that purple i'm gonna pull you guys up a little closer but anyway back to bean bean is yeah the first dog that i ever like just unconditionally loved i actually have a tattoo of bean on my ankle i got it before wilma so Wilma didn't exist yet. Sometimes I think about getting a tattoo of Wilma, but also sometimes I regret getting my tattoo of Bean, not because I don't love her anymore, but because I don't plan on getting other tattoos and I don't like the idea of just having one. You know what I mean? Let me know if anyone can relate to that. Also, Wilma is obsessed with Bean, but Bean is nasty. Like Bean is more nasty than Wilma. And Bean is so mean to Wilma. She does not like Wilma. She cannot be bothered with her. Bean is like five years older than Wilma though. Bean is a lady. Even though she's so little and I still think that she's like a little baby. But she is a little bit older than Wilma. So she just doesn't have patience for my Wilma girl. I'm going to start by taking this shade right here. It's kind of like a light, light peach. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to run it over the blend, I guess, for this to kind of diffuse it out a little bit. Yeah, that's doing what I want it to do. So yeah, I am finally getting into the groove of life after graduation and holiday and just, I don't know. The craziness of feeling like I'm in limbo. I still kind of feel that way. You know, I don't have like a definite routine with work. I kind of just work whatever hours I'm scheduled for the week. But I did just start a tutoring job, which I am excited for because it'll kind of add structure to my week a little bit, I think. So I'm going to be tutoring uh, two times a week. I'm going to go in with this kind of like deep gray purple. It's actually been kind of fun putting my education degree to work. I'm just tutoring a boy in my neighborhood. He is in eighth grade, so he's a little bit older than what my degree is in. I'm, I graduated with an elementary education degree in grades K through six, so he's a little bit older than, you know, K through six, but I do enjoy kind of working with him one-on-one getting his organization 
situated because that is one thing middle school boys oh my goodness they are so disorganized and you know what like i am not up to date on my middle school content like i do not know pythagorean theorem anymore like i don't know any of that but i do think with that age group of just you know that age group of boys I think that, you know, it's in their brain, it's in their notes, they just don't have the organization skills to do it, you know? So that's kind of this boy's issue. He's actually very bright and he just needs some guidance and push to actually do the work. And even though I'm not teaching him anything, I still think that me being there and guiding him and holding him accountable is definitely going to help him and it's kind of satisfying my not like need to teach because I don't know I just don't feel like I have a need to do it but I definitely know I was good at what I was doing at my internship last semester I definitely know that me being a teacher would be something that I would be very successful in. So it's kind of nice getting to practice that a little bit. I really would not mind picking up more tutoring jobs. Hopefully this might open up some doors and it would just be one more thing to add to my week. As much as I like my downtime and resting, I also do like to stay busy because I definitely am one of those people who can be very very lazy so yeah I just think it's good for me I think I'm gonna use the primer to do a little cut crease moment I used to do a lot of glam looks like cut creases and stuff but you know I was never as talented as I guess other people people were with this sort of thing or I guess like I didn't photograph my stuff as well or whatever I don't know but that stuff on my channel just never got views or anything and then I started noticing that the things that would get views would be my more natural looks and my glossier related videos and I just kind of started going with that and I really like where things have ended up for me because one doing more natural looks definitely fits into my more everyday scenario it's a lot easier to do natural looks um and two i love the community that it's built it's just like a bunch of people who are trying to find their everyday products and trying to find things that make them feel more confident about themselves and products that make them feel good it's really awesome. But it's also fun to do this sort of thing once in a while. I used to be so into playing with color. I'm going to go in with this shimmery purple shade. Back when I was in high school and middle school, I used to be so into color and playing with color. And I used to take a lot of pictures of my makeup. So hopefully I can find them and share them with you guys one day. But it used to be so fun for me. Like I would sit and do literally one eye of makeup after school and take a photo of it like just the one eye i wouldn't do like a whole thing it was very very funny and you know i would use my like coastal sense palettes and stuff such fun times i wanted to start a youtube channel for so freaking long but it's hard like it is like i tell people all the time it's easy but honestly like it is kind of hard sitting down and accepting the way that you sound, accepting the way that you look, and just doing the damn thing. There's a lot more to it than just filming and editing, I think. I think you just have to have a lot of acceptance and tolerance. I'm just going back in and kind of adding a little bit more depth to the inner corner. I don't love when this part gets to be too bright. But I do feel like as of recently, I've been struggling a little bit with just being addicted to numbers and just checking my numbers 
and checking comments and reading too much into comments because sometimes my comments are not very nice. I'm very, very fortunate to have so many of you watching me and supporting me and leaving the nicest comments and Instagram DMs and just the nicest things possible. But on particular videos and just sometimes people are nasty and sometimes people leave me some really nasty comments and it is hard to overlook them. It, it is hard to overlook them. And also it's just hard to stop checking and looking. I don't know how other people feel about this sort of stuff, but it is a little bit hard and it's a little bit hard to get used to, I guess. I'm going to take some of this glitter chopper right here. It has kind of like a blue reflex to it and I think it would go well with what's going on on my eyelid. But I did make the decision recently to turn off my YouTube notifications. So on my like YouTube studio app and um, my like regular YouTube app, I decided to turn off the notifications to that and I've noticed such an improvement in like my mood, I guess, and the amount of times I'm checking my phone throughout the day because whenever I would get a notification from YouTube, I would check it. Like I would be on my app instantly whenever I see the notification and it just gets to be too much. Like it was just too mentally stimulating for me. I think it started contributing to like anxious feelings and yeah, I just had to shut it down. So now I just end up checking it periodically throughout the day and I'm a lot more comfortable with that. Okay, I really hope this isn't backlash on me but I kind of want to do like a fun green liner. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of to remind me of Wisteria. Wisteria is like my favorite. I think it's so freaking beautiful. But I know it suffocates the plants around it. But I do think that I want to start maybe setting aside some time throughout my day, like maybe an hour each day to maybe reply to comments and Instagram DMs because I also see all of your Instagram DMs. I really enjoy interacting with you guys on Instagram, but also sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming to me only because I want to give you guys my all. Like I want to give you guys my attention and make sure my responses are thoughtful and I take the time to reply to you because you've taken the time to message me, but it can definitely get overwhelming sometimes and it also causes me to be on my phone for much longer than I would like to be. I'm gonna do the mint green, this one right here. So I definitely think that by setting aside some time to like sit down and reply to you guys, cause I really love interacting with you guys. I think that that'll help me be on my phone a lot less because I do find myself like if I see a message from someone, I'll click on it and respond. And then I end up checking Instagram and then I end up checking Twitter and then I end up Checking Pinterest, which I don't ever do anything on Pinterest. I just like to check it sometimes. I just check it when I'm bored. So I just think that by having a set time to reply to you guys will kind of allow me to not be on my phone all freaking day. But also don't ever feel like you guys are bothering me. Um, you know, I'll get some messages sometimes and they'll be like, I'm sorry for messaging you, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like bitch like like I am so thankful you're here like I'm so thankful for you messaging me like you have you guys have no freaking idea I think I'm gonna go over the green liner just a little bit with the blue sparkle um just where it's on my eyelid just to kind of not I don't know just to kind of make the two look a little bit more blended I'm just cleaning up my liner with some concealer oh yeah that looks kind of sick what do you guys think okay so i'm going to move on to my skin i'm going to take some of my glossier future do and apply it to my skin and then for my foundation i'm going to go in with the anastasia foundation and i'm using the shade 335w I haven't used this foundation since the summertime. It looks right. But I wanted my skin to look extra glowy because for some reason when I do a heavier eye look, I really don't like how that looks paired with 
really matte or like very full coverage skin. I kind of love the look of like a heavy eye look or like an intense eye look with more like glowy natural looking skin and I didn't discover that because I saw it on someone else I literally discovered that because I hate the way that it looks on me and I realized that kind of late in the game like I would just do full ass glam and then midway through the day I would be like I hate this I hate this so much and I couldn't really pinpoint what exactly I did not like about it, but I just knew that it wasn't for me. So yeah, I love full coverage skin. And I love a good bold eye, but I do not like the combination of the two together. And for my concealer, I just used the Hello Fab bendy avocado concealer and this is in the shade four i will say though that this youtube stuff is getting a little weird so on reddit i do browse the beauty guru chatter subreddit i just like to keep up with the news you know and i saw someone on there literally post a video of mine this person found my youtube channel and liked it and she shared a video on the page and she was like, I found a new woman of color YouTube channel. And then people were talking about me in the post. It was the weirdest freaking thing. It was so weird to read because it's totally different from reading a comment about me on my YouTube channel because like they know I'm gonna see it. They know that they're posting it like directly on my platform. Like they know I'm gonna see it. But people were just like chit chatting about me. And they were like, oh yeah, I watch your videos. It is just crazy. It is just crazy. Yeah, so that was just wild for me to like experience. It was super cool. And I'm really happy that everyone had like really nice things to say. Uh, this one girl wrote that like my videos were really in-depth yet entertaining and i'm like oh my god my heart so yeah that's so fun although i really love that my videos are kind of you know getting out there and more people are experiencing them and they're reaching more people i do kind of hope that my channel always stays smaller and i definitely think it helps that the looks that i post on my channel are more natural looks because i do think a lot of people watch some of those bigger youtubers uh the ones that do like very glamorous looks i i feel like a lot of people watch just out of pure entertainment i don't think anyone would ever really watch my videos out of like pure entertainment um i'm sure some people like get entertainment out of them but i definitely think that the videos that i post are a little bit more like on the informative side, you know, just by me posting my like full face videos, getting people familiar with different brands and the products that the brands sell, stuff like that. I'm going to take some of this blush from MAC. This is in the shade Floor Power. But this blush actually, well, the shade, not this particular blush. I just repurchased this, but this blush was actually my very first blush from MAC that I ever got. I was in fifth grade. Was I in fifth grade? Yes, I was in fifth grade because I got my three first MAC eyeshadows when I was in sixth grade. But yeah, I got this blush, I got a little lip gloss, and I got the MAC Select Cover Concealer. And those were my first MAC products. And then my three first eyeshadows from MAC were Stars and Rockets, Fresh Water, Fresh Water, and Club. Those were my those were my three first shades as a 11 year old. Look those shades up and tell me that's not the funniest shit that you've ever heard. So my mom brought those three shades home for me because I told her that I wanted like fun eyeshadow colors and she brought home a MAC 266 eyeliner brush and that was just like the coolest thing ever for me. That was like the coolest. I wore a lot of fun, interesting things when I was younger. I'm going to take some of my Honest Beauty Luminizing Glow Powder and this is in Midnight Reflection. I wanted to keep things really like nice and natural and like lit from within kind of deal with my skin. 
I'm going to take some of my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 04. This is a really perfect My Lips But Better shade. I'm just going to... I really should be using my brow flick for this, but I don't feel like getting up. I'm just going to quickly, like, that's it. I'm just, I'm just going to fill in the tail of my brow just like a little bit. Then I'm going to use my Glossier Boy Brow in brown. I kind of feel that with these more pastel eye looks, I love the look of it with no lashes. But I kind of feel like I have to put lashes on. What's up with that? Why do I feel like I have to do that? I think just for shits and giggles I should go put some lashes on. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna put some lashes on. I haven't worn lashes in so freaking long and the reason why I don't like wearing them is because I don't have time. Uh, two, I hate dealing with lash glue, but I recently, recently as in like the past few months, have been using the makeup eraser. And my friend Rachel is a eyelash wearer like an everyday eyelash wearer. And she said, oh my god, the band on these are so thick. I don't know if it's gonna look good. Oh my god, I don't think I wanna commit to lashes. At least not with a band like this. I, okay, I'm changing my mind on the lashes that we're about to put on. I'll finish up my thought before I go get some more. But she said that she doesn't get any lash glue residue with her makeup eraser so hopefully i'm the same i grabbed this this lash book is from two holidays ago i have not opened it i'm gonna do these ones oh my god this lash glue from tarte smells toxic okay i real i don't i don't hate it with the lashes i i'm feeling good i'm feeling good right now so for my final step with the eyes i'm going to take some of this color right here it's like a white shade with tiny tiny purple glitters in it and I am just oh oh my god oh my god I love this shade ooh that really took the look to another level I feel like I could have used it as a highlight oh my god should I ruin the look and use it as a highlight so how are we feeling with this look? I I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. I'm having a ton of fun with this eyeshadow palette. It's so beautiful. I'm definitely going to challenge myself to use this a few times more because a lot of times I buy palettes like this and they sit for a while and then they get decluttered. But I just feel so inspired by this right now and I love the look that I created. I really want to use these oranges. I want to return back to the greens. I want to do combinations with the colors. I I just want to do it all with this guy. So yeah, I'll probably be doing some more looks like this regardless. So if you want to see them, let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed sitting down and chatting with me or hearing about me chat about just things that have been on my mind. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. I'd love to hear about how your new year is going so far. We're a few weeks into the new year, but hopefully everything is going well for you guys. My dogs are going crazy downstairs. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I see you next time.